Okay, so welcome to this little tutorial about how to make pull requests on GitHub. So I've got a basic um, bit of code here, and I just want to remove this console log here. So I could just delete that from here, save it, and um, git, do a git commit onto the main branch. But I don't want to do that if there's lots of people working on this project, and the project is large. For, because somebody else could also do the same thing and then there's going to be conflicts and that's going to be difficult to resolve. You could also end up just overwriting somebody else's code if they've also made changes and, and you've pushed, you're the last one to have pushed, you just erase what they've done. So to avoid that, we use branching and merging. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new branch, git checkout, B for branch and it's Ben's changes three because I've already done two of these videos. Um, and now that's given me a new branch. And now if I do git add dot add if you do git add dot in the in the in the base of the repo of the root, then it will add all of the files that you've changed. As you can see here, it shows that I've modified the, the source app for file. And then I'm gonna do a commit. So a commit is saying that I have committed these changes. I'm committed to, to making these changes to the app. All right, so um, remove console log. It's just the message that I'm gonna call it so other people know what I've done without having to search through the code. And then git push. Now this is gonna error out. And the reason is that my local code knows there's a new branch there, but my remote um, on GitHub doesn't know that I've done that yet. So I've got to tell it not only to push my changes, but to create a new branch. I don't know why I've done that. Hold on. Copy, paste. All right, it's going to go up into a new branch there. As you can see, it says it's, it's pushed it up to the remote. Now, if I go to my um, code here, you'll see that I've created a new branch. Before I open the pull request, I'm just going to show you. So this is my main branch, and this is the new branch with my changes. And it's just like a copy of, of what is in there plus what I've changed. Okay, so I'm going to open a new pull request by clicking this button here. And now you get this dialog box, which is box, which is a form that you can use to write a message, like a title of what you've done, any other details here um, that you might want to add. And you can also assign yourself so that other people know who's written this code. And you can ask for reviewers. Now I've got two other people on this, working on this app with me. Nanso and Manuel. And so I'm going to add them as reviewers. Now I could just create a draft pull request if I'm still thinking there might be other things to add to this pull request. But if I'm ready for it to be reviewed, I can just create, click create pull request here. And that will open the pull request. All right, so there's my title here. Um, number three is the number of the pull request. So there have been two others. And my description would be here. Now, this is this all this here, these comments, is just Netlify because it's building a preview of the site for us. Ah, now I can't merge it. It's having me read review required. At least one approving reviewer is required. So ordinarily, I would wait for um, either Emmanuel or Nonso to re re review it for me. But since this is a demo, I'm going to merge without. Now, don't do this. <laughs> this is this is a bad idea. All right. Uh, um, yeah, don't do this unless you really know what you're doing. Um, but I'm going to do it because I do most of the time. All right, here we go. Confirm merge. It's really, really careful about all this red and stuff. It makes me nervous every time I do it. All right, that's merged in. So my console log should be removed. I'm just going to delete this branch because I don't need it anymore. Um, the best practice is to keep opening new branches for new features that you're building. So you don't want to re reuse branches. Um, in GitHub, that's fine. But in other providers like Azure, that causes real problems if you're reopening branches. It doesn't, it doesn't tend to know what's going on. So I'm going to delete that. Um, now, if I go to my code, I should see in my app that the console log has gone. Yes. All right, it's gone. But, 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 my local copy doesn't reflect that. 
All right. It does in the branch that I'm in, but if I go back to the main branch, hit check out main, go to back to the main. Ah, it's still there. So what's the matter then? Well, if you think about it, my remote, the GitHub version, has got the latest changes, but my local version doesn't have those local cha no changes. So what I need to do is git pull. Now, it would be good practice to do git pull often. And the more people are working on your project, the more often you want to do git pull. All right, so you've got the latest changes and you, and you, and you know what's going on. You, you, you don't need to, um, yeah, you just got everything that people have been doing recently. So git pull, aha, now you see one file has changed and it's updated it, it's gone. So there we are. So what we've done is we've opened a pull request, we've we branched off, created some changes, made a commit message, pushed it up to a new branch on the remote, opened a pull request, merged that pull request, and then updated your local branch with those changes. Okay, hope that was helpful.